It must be recognized that geophysical exploration techniques cannot be applied indiscriminately. Knowledge of the geological parameters likely to be associated with the mineral or subsurface condition being studied is essential both in choosing the method to be applied and in interpreting the results obtained. Furthermore, not all the techniques described in this course may be suitable for petroleum exploration. Nevertheless, the described techniques are included since it is valuable to know their nature and how they might be applied to subsurface exploration. It should also be noted that such terms as geophysical borehole logging may imply the use of one or more of the geophysical exploration techniques. This procedure involves drilling a well and using instruments to log or make measurements at various levels in the hole by such means as gravity or density, electrical resistivity, or radioactivity. In addition, formation samples or cores are taken for physical and chemical tests. Exploration is an economic activity, and like other economic activities, marginal benefit and marginal cost play a key role in determining how much exploration occurs. Expenditures on exploration and development reduce current profit with an expected return of adding valuable reserves for future exploitation. The efficient level of exploration activity balances the expected marginal cost of exploration with the expected benefit of exploration. The expected marginal benefit of exploration is not just the discovery and development of new reserves, but comes from the discovery of reserves whose cost of development and extraction is less than or equal to the cost of the reserves currently being depleted. In other words, the marginal value of new reserves equals the user cost of current resource depletion along an efficient time path of extraction and new reserve development. In addition, when reserves are allowed to vary with economic and technological conditions, the upward movement of prices may no longer hold. Depending on the degree to which current extraction costs are rising as a consequence of depletion and the cost of new reserve additions, including their user cost, it is possible for new discoveries to outstrip depletion. A downward pressure on prices could be exerted through the ability to enlarge reserves through technological breakthroughs that increase recoverability and lower the costs of extraction from existing deposits or make new deposits easier to find and access, thereby lowering reserve replacement costs. However, given the uncertainty surrounding the exploration process, the assumption that reserves are found on average in order of increasing cost and can be found in infinitely divisible amounts is a very serious oversimplification.